Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our Road to Glory season with Buxton, or should I say season series with Buxton. It's going to be more than one season. Um, and uh, things are going pretty good for us overall. Um, we are currently first in the league, although it's still early on. However, we have made one critical loss that could hugely impact the team. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in game. And uh, as you can see, lots of green dots, lots of good green dots. Uh, unfortunately, we do have one giant red dot here uh, against Farsley. Now, Farsley is a team that is in our league. So losing against Farsley, who is currently last, isn't like completely outside of the realm of possibility. It's not so much that we lost to Farsley. It's not so much the team that we lost to as much as is that we had a requirement to get the FA Cup proper. Get out of the qualifying into the proper round. Uh, unfortunately, we did draw Farsley again, an interleague team in this matchup, and we got FM'd. Our first FMing of the year, we doubled their X, uh, XG over the course of this, this game. We had a really, really solid game. Just wasn't enough. And unfortunately, uh, that does mean the board is still mostly okay with me. I don't know how they're going to judge me on this. I mean, if we end up doing good in the Vanarama North, we might be all right. Uh, the supporters are quite a bit better because they don't care about that one quite as much. Um, but uh, the big thing is the players. The players are not happy with me at all. There are eight players. DDG came to me extremely unhappy with that result. And so he came to me and he's, there's a lot of players that agree with him. Um, I went ahead and started putting him on the transfer board because I was like, look, I can't, I can't have a player this upset in our team as good as he is. He's a great player. We love to keep him, but as good as he is, we can't have a player like that this upset. So... We're trying to send him on. Uh, Vibonese came in here for an offer where we had to pay his salary. And I'm like, uh, no. So he's still unhappy about that. Thankfully, most of the team disagrees with this, although there's a few that do agree. A lot of the team, uh, unfortunately, do agree with the FA Cup thing. And I agree with the FA Cup thing. I think it was terrible. But I was all, all I said to him was like, look, the entire team didn't do well. And he's like, no, it's not the team's fault. It's your fault. I'm like, it's my fault. <laughs> okay. So uh, that conversation did not go very well. So DDG is going to be up for auction. Or an auction, I'm sorry. Up for a trade, I should say. Uh, hopefully, we can get him pushed on um, because we just can't have that. As good as he is, we cannot have that type of player in our in our team that is going to be that upset about things. So, what did we do? Well, we brought in a new player. We brought in uh, Tyrese Onyeka here. Uh, he comes in here as a four-star current ability. Could be as high as five-star uh, player. He is 21 years old, so he fits our uh, criteria for having under 23-year-olds. Uh, definitely should have a good amount of potential, we hope. And we're really hoping that he can kind of fill that void for DDG. We shall see. So Onyeka comes in here, and that is the big change here. We'll go from there. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, in fact, Onyeka's already in there. Uh, do I want to swap him around? Because I think McKay is... Um, what is this foot for McKay? He is... Where is it? Left foot, reasonable right foot, very strong. We're going to swap him around because Onyeka, I think, is right foot only. Um, but other than that, come on, can you not swap? There we go. Uh, so here's the team we got today. Richardson in goal, Newton on the left, Burke on the right, Brisley and Granite in the middle. Kirby as the ball-winning midfielder with Durnley on the left wing. Tazdemir back from his international play on the right wing. Uh, Bunn as our shadow striker, as usual. McKay coming in here. We're really going to be leaning on McKay to pick up some slack uh, in place of... Um, DDG, McKay was, has done really good for us. And then, of course, Onyeka come in here to also fill that spot. We'll see what happens. We'll see what he can do. And if we can just get DDG off of our books. He's been amazing. Don't get me wrong. He's been amazing. I would love to keep him. But I can't have a player this upset about things hanging around and causing trouble for the rest of the team. So that is the plan. Uh, the only other thing I would need to bring up is that Peterson is actually leaving us in January. Uh, we knew that having him signed on a non-contract, he's on a 6.92, which is reasonable. He's done pretty decent, 6.83 average rating, 6.92 for the last five games. He's played well, um, and uh, people noticed and came in for a contract that I could not offer him. So, unfortunately, we'll be losing him, but we should be able to get someone else into that spot, hopefully. So, that's the team. Let's get into this game. Uh, we're playing Spinnymore. We are currently, like I said, first in the team league. Spinnymore is fourth. Spinnymore actually, I think, is slightly favored in this game. Uh, so this could be a pretty tough game for us overall. We'll get an opportunity, like I said, to see Onyeka 
And with the team, kind of a bunch, bunch of members of the team unhappy with us right now, this could cause us to be a very tough matchup for us. Let's put it that way. And it is away from home. So again, we'll find out. But this could be a, a tougher matchup than, than we would have liked. Um, I don't know. What could have happened if we just won that game? You know, <laughs> I, we did everything we could. Honestly, I was not going to blame the team until the team tried to blame me. <laughs> that makes sense. Team's like, it's your fault. And I'm like, look, the formation worked. The plan worked. The only thing we were bad on, we had more shots, more shots on target, higher XG. Everything was great. We just didn't put goals in the back of the net. That's literally it. So in my opinion, it happens. I'm not going to get that upset about it. Uh, but apparently the team was ferociously devastated about it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get things back together. Hopefully, hopefully the team is not too upset. I mean, I was really hoping I'd just keep DDG and he would um, get over it, but he was so incredibly angry. Um, I just don't know that it's going to be something he... He might eventually get over it, but it's going to take a while. And by then, how much damage is going to be done to the rest of the team? I think we just got to move him on. It's very, very unfortunate, but no player is worth uh, losing the team over. Let's put it that way. Come on, guys. Let's get something going here. Oh, my goodness. What a sh shot. Ah. That's what we saw a lot of in that, that last game. A lot of shots from way back here that went in for them, and then shots for us that we were right in front of the goal post and pinged off one of the posts or the crossbar or whatever. So really, really unfortunate ex uh, um, FMing in that last game. And it looks like it's going to continue in this one, unfortunately. Well, I say it's going to continue this one. To be fair, they are playing better than us because we haven't even had a shot yet. But come on. Just, uh, shots from that far out? Come on. All right, we're going to tell the boys to do a little bit better, please. A couple of them responded well, a couple of them did not. Definitely worried that that DDG, or just just even just the FA Cup loss in general, but the whole, the whole situation could really upend our, our season so far. We're playing so incredibly well, and I don't know. A little bit of motivation brought back in, so we'll see what that does for us. Onyeka is not playing well so far. Uh, neither Stryker is playing well, that, to be fair. Tazimir gets it over to McKay. McKay gets up to Onyeka just as I'm talking about it. Okay. Good good attempt. Good attempt. Goalkeeper had to make a move, and he did. We're going to get a corner kick out of this. Come on. It's going to be Bun with the corner. There's Granite not able to get on that one. Is it going to be another corner? It looks like it will be another corner for us. Come on, guys. Let's get something here. We've seen uh, Granite score twice so far this season off of corners. Unfortunately, not going to happen this time. Uh, Onyeka should be able to pick that one up. Oh, that would have been so incredible if he'd pick, if he just buried that one. <laughs> that would have, I would have been felt so justified. We brought Onyeka, and I would have been like DDG who? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not entirely like that, but oh, that would have been so good. All right, well, we're gonna have to bring Kirby out. Yellow card and not playing well. We'll bring Goodridge into that spot. Hopefully, he can get us something going here. Come on, guys. Let's play some defense here. Like, we've played so well so far this season that suddenly we're just kind of starting to fall apart a little bit, maybe. Uh, maybe that's not the right word. One game is not really falling apart. But uh, it's behind-the-scenes stuff. That's, that's really what I'm worried about. Okay. Giving up another go here is just ridiculous. Oh, Granite. Good stuff, buddy. Oh, Burke. Come on, buddy. Clear those out. I don't like that the highlight is continuing here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on. Grizzly, not. That was stupid, Grizzly. That was stupid. Well, that's it for us, right? I mean, there's not much more we can do here. I mean, obviously, we're going to bring another player in here, see what they can do. But, man, that's, the team is just not playing well. That that whole that whole mess is really come back to bite us. Uh, I am going to go ahead and um, set up an instruction. We're going to go ahead and get stuck in. We're going to see if we can get... Shake things up. I and mean, we got some yellow cards floating around, and this could come back to 
fight us as well, but we've got to get something shaken up here. I mean, we're not playing poorly. We shouldn't be down by two goals, I don't think. Maybe one goal. I'll give them that. But two goals feels a little bit like we're just not just not doing what we're supposed to be doing here. Um, I don't think I have anybody for Bun. I can bring Gilchrist for Onyeka, I guess. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. Two back-to-back -back losses is going to be absolutely devastating. Come on, guys. Yeah, just terrible. Terrible play here. Hmm. We at least showed up in that last game and started to look a little bit better towards the end. We haven't even showed up in this game at all. All right, well, um, don't really have much to say. Team needs to shape up <laughs> get this together. Mm, that's so frustrating. What? Okay, guess I set an acceptable price for him. Good for him. Oh, DDG, why did you have to get so upset? All right, well, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to the next game. Next game will be uh, coming up here in 10 days. So Scarborough Athletic, home game for us. Hopefully we can start turning this thing around a bit in that game. If we get another loss, then that's that's the point where I start considering some tactical changes. We'll, we shall see, though. We'll be, we'll be right back. All right, we are back, ready for our Scarborough Athletic game here. Uh, but before we get into that, I will go ahead and show you that um, we have lost DDG. He did move on. We got 4.3K for him, although we're having to pay a little bit of his wages. But considering he was making 1,000 pounds per week, uh, the amount of his wages are about a little bit less than half of that. It's not great, not ideal, but I don't think we're going to get a better offer than that. And we are still getting 550 pounds per week off our wage budget. So... Uh, our wage budget is actually looking really good. We, we definitely could still bring in a player or two that is worth something to us. Um, in fact, probably what we're going to be doing here, let's see, we are in October. So we've gone two full months. It's probably time for us, because we can do transfers because of free agencies uh, and stuff like that. We can do transfers, you know, basically the entire season, right? We don't have to wait till a January transfer window or anything like that. Uh, let me get through today's episode, and then I am probably going to start looking at the potential of bringing in just someone to replace anybody that's just looks like they're not doing well uh, and trying to replace some people, trying to get a better team here because we have a little bit of money to spend, not a ton. I don't want to go crazy because then I'll hurt the team more, but we're doing well. And just a couple, couple, you know, lightning bolts thrown into this mix might make a difference here. So if we can find us a really solid player here and there, uh, I don't know that Onyek is going to do that. We'll see. I think he has the potential to do it, but we'll find out if he can, can show up today. He did not show up in the last game. Uh, but we're going to give him another shot today to see what he can do. So, and we're playing a lot less for Onyeka. We're paying uh, 350 bucks per week versus 1000 for DDG. I think Onyeka could be as good a player in theory, but uh, we'll see if he uh, ends up being actual fact or not. Uh, in fact, let's see here. 
I probably should have done this before the hand, but uh, let's do a compare with DDG. So Onyeka, a little bit better on the mentals, a little bit better on the speed, same physicality. Ariel's better, um, a little bit less on the attacking, his vision's not as good. So, you know, a couple things are better, some couple things are worse. Um, some decent things here that are good for him, not so good for, uh, you know, other ways. Uh, penalty taking was better for, obviously, DDG. His penalty taking is terrible. Uh, he's got good heading, though. I mean, there's, there's some positives. Uh, he's a different type of player in some sense, but there are definitely some positives here uh, that we can go with for Onyeka. So here's our team, same team as we had last time. Uh, literally, no changes at all. Uh, we're going to give them another chance to kind of show up today because they definitely did not show up in that last game against Spinny Moore. Uh, we're still we're still in the mix, though. Uh, nothing nothing too bad yet. Uh, this game will also determine whether or not we um, um, stick with this formation a bit longer or if we need to, to change things. If we go under 50%, for the last five games, that's gonna be my trigger point for trying to mess around with the formation a bit. But if we if we get another win here, then I'm gonna say that this, the formation's fine, and we just we just has a few hiccups, you know. Uh, we are in our dark blue kits today. There's oh, I thought that was a goal. Thought that was a goal. It's gonna be a home game for us today, so should for all intents and purposes be you know advantage us. But uh, we'll see if that actually becomes fact or not. couple players were unhappy with the move of DDG, um, but I was able to have a team meeting with the, I think it was eight players that came forward and said they were unhappy. Half of them accepted my explanation that, look, he just wanted to move on. We'll see if we can find somebody better, things like that. The other half did not. So at least I reduced the impact a little bit. I'm sure some of that will die off a little bit as we, uh, if we can start to win again. But uh, yeah, something to think about. There's Onyeka. Come on, get a goal here. First goal of the season for Onyeka. Uh, that's what we need to see from him. We need to see him just pick up and start, you know, kind of picking up the slack where DDG was at. Him getting a goal here, honestly, this is huge. This is this is bigger than just a goal. If you, you know, this is his his first foray into like doing what we need from him. I still would say DDG is probably a better player, quite frankly. But I think McKay is a great player. Honestly, McKay was playing really well as as well. So. If Onyeka can just help support McKay, that two, that pair, I mean, I'm that might be fine. You know, there, there might be nothing wrong with that pair right there. All right. Well, I mean, we're doing okay. I mean, defensively, I guess we're doing all right because their XG is actually pretty good. And we've been able to defend that pretty well. Um... Not really much else to say. Let's just get into this. All right, let's do a first sub here. Nobody really needs to be subbed out. You know, we're going to hold off. I might do a double sub at the 60 minute mark. Come on, guys. Here's Granite. Newton picking up the ball. Granite's one of the ones that's not happy right now. Um... In fact, we've actually put him on the transfer list because he's he's actually the most unhappy of all the people. Come on, guys. Ugh. Okay. Um... I just don't know. I don't know that I, I feel like anybody's just playing especially poorly right now. I'm going to give it five more minutes. It's a new, oh, okay. We're going to get a penalty here. I don't know who takes our penalties now. It used to be DDG, but I don't know who it is now. Probably Bun or Durnley, maybe. Durnley. Okay. Nah, nice, nice, nice. Good job, Durnley. We need this win. I desperately need this win. I need to get some happiness back into the team. I mean, to be fair, the more distance we put away from that FA Cup result and as well as the DTG debacle, uh, the better things we'll get. Uh, okay, so we are going to go ahead and sub some people out here. We'll bring Granite out. And I'll come in there. And I'm going to bring... 
Well, we're bringing Bun out. I'm going to give Elliot some time. I, I want Elliot to have a little bit of game time here. I also want to bring in Grill Chris to give him some more game time. Come on, guys. Hold on. Really need this one. A lot of shots. Goodness. All right. Well, we held on. I mean, that's... And we actually started turning things around pretty good time. We, we had a good XG there at the end. Woke up in the second half for sure. Oh, I should have praised some people. That's okay. Uh, I mean, we're in there. We're still in the mix, right? Spending more ahead of us makes sense. Uh, our goal differentials, you know, top four, you know, so technically top three, right? So we're in a good place overall. We can still bounce back from that that loss, that really devastating loss for sure. Um, I mean, overall club vision, we're down to a C plus, unfortunately. But, and the supporters have dropped off a little bit, probably because of the DDG um, move. Yeah, they're disappointed with the move of DDG. I'm hoping if uh, Onyeka starts to, you know, take off, then they'll forget that, you know? That's that's really that's really the best way to, to make something like that happen. So, we'll see. Um, I mean, Onyeka is actually rated around the same transfer value as DDG. So, I still think he could pull something out and do, do something good for us. We'll find out as time goes by. Okay, so the next game you guys are going to see is... Um, Chorley, 10th, Gloucester, Banbury, there's Farsley, uh, probably just the Chorley, Gloucester, so probably three games from now we'll play, we'll show those and see where we can go from there, but I do appreciate you guys watching, may God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time, thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members, thank you so much for supporting the channel.